Hey there, welcome back to Pluralsight. I'm your instructor, Christopher Reese, and in this module on risk management and best practices, we're gonna cover a few things dealing with business continuity concepts, and within that, we're gonna cover business impact analysis, what it is, why it's important, talk about the identification of critical systems and components, talk about removing single points of failure, okay, that's a big one, business continuity planning and testing, we'll talk about risk assessment, continuity of operations, disaster recovery, IT contingency planning, succession planning, high availability, redundancy, and tabletop exercises. So that's a lot of concepts within business continuity itself. Some of those things overlap and they kind of can mean the same thing depending upon what components you're talking about. But then we're gonna also cover some things dealing with fault tolerance and that covers basically hardware, RAID, clustering, load balancing, and the servers themselves, some fault tolerant components within the servers. And then we'll also cover disaster recovery concepts, and that deals with backup plans and policies, backup execution and frequency, cold sites, hot sites, and warm sites. Okay, so all the things that we need to have in place to get our information back up and running quickly.